Hi there, it's Beauty Junkie. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm getting into the new Diptyque 2023 Holiday Collection. I got the mini trio here and the three candles are hanging out back there all lit up. Let's get into the holiday season. So this year I decided to just go with the three smaller size candles. They're $50 each and when you buy them in the set, they're $150. You don't really get a discount, but the set is nice if you want to give a gift. It's a little pull tab here, and this is where the three cents sit. And I think the writing on here is gorgeous. There's definitely a flame theme this year, and you can see that on the packaging. Mm. Even smelling the box, it is really nice. I also ordered a refill of my favorite hand wash ever. This is the Softening Hand Wash Refill. It's a lavender scent and I picked up, had to pick this up because I'm almost out. And then I got some gift wrapping. I got a free bag with my order. Gift wrap, very nice. Although it was a gift to myself. <laughs> Uh, I wasn't going to pass up a nice cloth, cotton bag, drawstring, gotta have it. I also got two perfume samples with my or order, and one of them is one of their newer releases, Le, Le, uh, I can't say, speak French, Papier, the paper one, uh, it's an Eau de Toilette, and I have the body. I've never smelled both of these before. Out of the two, Papier um, surprised me. I actually really like it and it's a lighter scent. Most of the time I'm not a huge fan of lighter scents. They're just kind of eh. But I really like Papier. Longevity wise, I can't speak to that, but it smells good with the first spray. So it's, it's really nice, surprisingly so. Okay, so let's get into this holiday collection. All right, so I'm gonna show you, talk about what's available, how much things cost, and then I'll give you a close-up video of the three candles and I'll let you know my thoughts on the scents and the throw. So overall, this collection, it's very similar to previous releases. Um, so every year in October, Diptyque releases their holiday scents, I will say. They usually don't sell out right away, so you do have some time, but they are a limited edition, so if you do want them, might as well grab them. I think they make really great gifts, but these are luxury candles. They are very expensive and they should be treasured, and um, I wouldn't just give them to anyone. Um, but let's get into this collection this year. I will say if you can stop by the Diptyque website and click on the holiday collection, they have a beautiful video. I think it's gorgeous and it fits the flame theme this year. So check that out. But the regular size candles are $86 and those are right off the US Diptyque website. I know Diptyque varies depending on the vendor that you get them from, but I would say right now, if you wanna get them quickly, go to directly to their website. Um, so this is the classic size, 190 grams, 6.7 ounces. Um, so that is the classic Diptyque candle. I'm gonna gra grab one from um, a previous year so you can see. So this is the classic candle size. 190 grams. This year's collection retails at $86 a piece. Yes, you heard right. And if you do order this year, you also get the gold lid with it, which is excellent. I will say if you order a normal candle this size, it doesn't always come with a lid. So that's kind of nice. And this one, if you're curious, is the 2022 release. One of the candles is the utensils. This is the smoky fiery one. I love this one. And then from 2021, the design of this year's collection looks very similar to the, to the 2021 collection. For some reason, I thought this came out last year, but no, it's from 2021 and same sort of colored style. We have like sort of this painted on texture on the glass, except this year it's flames. And you'll see that close up when I show you later. But again, both years we have the gold lids. Um, and this year we also have pine tree, sapin. 
and every year it seems like Sabin is just a staple with our holiday collections, the same scent every year. So if you're like, oh, do I need to buy Pine Train again? Only if you love it and you're, you're out. I am not, so I was not tempted to get another one. So you can get all three separately. You can get one of them if one sounds more enticing. But this year it is Sapin Delice, Delice, and Cotton. Um, so Delice is a gourmand sweet scent. I get coffee notes right away from it and a little bit of, I don't know, caramel or cinnamon or something like that. The cold throw on it to me is not great, but I will get into that later. Let's go back and look at what else they have to offer. So besides the individual regular size candles, we have the set for 150. This is what I would recommend, especially if you already have a bunch of diptyque candles. Do you really need a holiday one? Um, probably not. So I like to go with the small size. Unless something really entices me, then I will get an individual larger one. They also smell, sell the little ones individually and they sell decor and accessory candle fragrance items. There is a fragrance diffuser that has made out of Murano glass. There is a flame leather sleeve for candles. You can set the candle in. There is stands available that look very I don't know art deco like gold candle stands there's one called the ray stand the ray ornament where you can put on top of the candle or kind of resting up like this um, there are pillar candles for sale which always look very classic um, all kinds of things there are gold plates they call them holiday novelties I'm looking at the website here parfum set five parfums there is a mini set of five mini signature candles. So when we talk about mini size, that is this size. So there is a Uda Rose surprise pouch, 12 mini signature candles, some perfume sets, a gold um, candle snuffer and wick trimmer set with um, one of their new refillable candles, which I believe is not holiday scented. There is an advent calendar. I'm not sure if it's sold out yet. Probably will be soon. Oh, the advent calendar, ooh, the advent calendar is still available. It's five hundred and ten dollars, twenty-five scented treasures. You can order it online or reserve it in a boutique. It looks fun. I know people on YouTube that open it throughout December, and I enjoy watching it. But I personally don't feel the need to buy one myself because I've I've tried a lot of diptyque stuff, including Bath and Body hand wash and lotions and all that stuff. I do really like this brand in, in many facets, not just candles. Oh, there's some holiday lanterns, which I do want to spend a little time on. I have some old lanterns um, that I'll go grab. All right, so I have some very dusty lanterns. I have a gold and a silver version. This is the base of the gold one without the little spinny thing, but it very much looks like this, except in gold, and it rests on top of the candle and spins if everything's working right. It does sort of get off kilter. I am missing one of these, so that's why things are off. So this is the, the concept of a lantern. Don't pay attention. Care of them, they're very delicate. If you are not a delicate person, I wouldn't recommend picking them up, but it's a very cool kind of Christmassy holiday decoration. So the lanterns they have this year are come as part of a set but you could probably get them separately i hope so there's a mimosa candle set a bay berries candle set or there is a amber and photobois candle set some of these are smaller some of these fit the classic candles and there's a price difference slightly so you wanna make sure you get the lantern that fits the candle size that you have. Um, but they're gold and they have different designs and they look very cool. Um, so I would probably recommend one of them in your lifetime just to try out and kind of see. They're very fun and you can take care of them while 
you can use them year after year. There's a pine tree room spray if you're not into candles, but you want to make your room smell good. Here is the flame glass up close. So this year the design, so every year the designs are different, right? This year we have a gold sticker. We have clear glass and we have sort of painted it looks painted. I'm not sure if it's a sticker. It doesn't feel like a sticker. Uh, I think it's all kind of very embedded in the glass, but we have different colors. We have black, blue, and gold in this one. This is cotton. And then with Delice, which is red, black, and gold. And then we have Sapin, which is our pine tree, which is green, black, and gold. I think it looks cool. But again, sort of a, a knockoff of this design from 2021, the splatter, but this year it's flames. It still looks cool. I'm not going to knock it. So Delice Man's delicious. So, all right. Um, I'm going to take us back to the design of last year's collection. It was also sort of a gold sticker except that you could see the words better because there was some black <laughs> behind it and then the middle of it. Um, also clear glass with some stars and dots. So the stars were in gold and some dots in there. Um, so uh, kind of a starry night kind of a thing. And last year which was different which I really appreciated is they had colored wax. And some candles, yes, in their regular collection do have colored wax, but most of the time they're white. So I loved that last year had, you know, the color came from the wax. I thought that was very cool and different and I really appreciated it. Um, the, you know, the year before everything was white, which is fine. And this year everything is white again, except for Sapin Pine Tree is slightly green tinted wax this year, which I think is somewhat unusual because to me, all the Sapins smell relatively the same. I don't have a sensitive enough nose to tell the difference. They all smell like a tree. And I quite enjoy the pine tree scent. It is quintessential classic Christmas. I grew up with a real tree in, you know, every year. So I definitely um, appreciate it. And if you don't have a real tree or you want to fake like you have one, I love the alternative idea of it, just having a candle going and you get that same scent and feeling. So I, I like the, the pine tree candle, but I didn't feel like I needed to get a whole nother one because I still have more to go on this and like two little backups, so I'm good. of this collection every year that I've been doing this now it has sort of been very predictable you have your pine scent a sweet scent and a light clean kind of snowy boring scent and same theme this year so we have cotton this is our clean sort of powdery boring scent you could think of it as snow this year it's cotton. It's very light. It's very much like a really nice powdery clean laundry. Some of you may enjoy it. I thought the throw on this was just okay and not, and not very spectacular. I would never consider getting a larger one of this. And in hindsight, I probably could have gotten away with just getting these two again or maybe just even this one but I did want to try it for you all I do like doing reviews for you guys so I did get cotton and yeah I think it's just eh, you know 
I could see this like as a, a really nice room spray for your bedroom because it's nice and light. It's a little bit calming. It's just not, it doesn't scream holiday for, to me. And I think every year they have these clean scents. They're more like, oh, that's nice in the winter time. Kind of fresh slate kind of scent. Like you'd put this out in January after all the holidays are done. I mean, I don't know. I, I just don't quite get this one. And then this one is the gourmand sort of sweet smell that I always look forward to because to me it's the most unique out of the three every year. And this year I do kind of get the coffee caramelized sweet vibe, but it's not very strong. And I'm not sure it's, it's if it's because I got the smaller size if I got the larger one, it would have been more impressive to me. But the cold throw on this I find very weak. The hot throw, it's okay. Once it's burning, it does fill up the room. Um, again, maybe I would have been better if I gotten the bigger one and I would maybe have a better opinion of it. But I, I'm not like super impressed by the scent this year for this one. It's just I don't know, it's not enough of anything. It's definitely nice. I think you'll enjoy it if you've never had a diptyque holiday candle. You like gourmand scents. You'll probably appreciate that it's not too like sickly sweet or overwhelming or you don't really love bakery smells, but you, you might enjoy this. So in that sense, it's probably fine. For most of you, I just find it a little bit of a dud, to be honest. So I'm thankful I just got the small set this year because I just think it's pretty to look at, but the scents are not super new or exciting to me this year, unfortunately. But you know, I have been doing this a couple years now, and so I'm sure I'll feel that way after many more years of this. Um, I will say I was really impressed with like the different scent last year in Intensils, the smoky scent. It was not gourmand at all. I was like, ooh, something new. So I loved it. And I'm glad I got the big one. Like, Oops. You know, this one reminds me of Photobois, but even more, I don't know, like in your face smoky. And I love it. It reminds me of a fireplace, which reminds me of, of the holidays. We had a fireplace going. I don't have a fireplace, so this is the next best thing. So again, a nice alternative of something maybe you can't have. I love this and I want to burn it right now. Um, it, it rained today. It's definitely that cozy feeling I'm getting today. So perfect time to film a candle video. Anyways, I think if you know yourself, you know what you like, I think you can figure out which of these three you might want a larger one of. I don't think it hurts to pick up a set, a set if you have the change for it, but if you're being really picky this year, which one should you get? I would say if you never had a sapin or a pine tree candle, this would probably be my number one pick out of the three, just because it is got a decent throw it's got a it's a classic christmas tree scent i always enjoy it you can't go wrong and if you like the design this year why not second place would be um delicious i think it, it is if you like a sweet gourmand scent i think you won't be disappointed but you might be like hmm maybe a little underwhelmed cotton I really wouldn't recommend. I think it's too light, um, but it does have a light, fresh feel. I just, not something I think of when I think of holiday. Um, but those are my thoughts on that. Something besides one of these candles and you're thinking of gifts or a gift for yourself, or you just want to fancy up one of your bathrooms, maybe your guest bathroom, you can get the glass container that has S on it and you can get this if you buy the glass it comes with soap but if you're like oh I'm not worried about a dispenser get this refill it's always sold out when I go to boutiques it is so good there's an exfoliating version 
I wouldn't recommend that one. The little sand bits get stuck in the pump and it's not a great time. This one has no bits in it. So it's just a nice, beautiful soap and I recommend it. It's kind of funny to like give someone this as a gift, a bag of soap, but it's nice and ecologically friendly. I don't know if that's the right word, but um, I love this. I love this. Out of any Diptyque body product, my number one pick. Other than that, I mean, they have lots of candles if you're not into the holiday ones, but you like smoky scents. My suggestion to would, for you this time of year would be Feu de Bois, which is their fireplace candle. It's along the same lines as this one, but it is usually like a gray color um, and it's one of their best sellers. It's unique and very good. Uh, that would be my top choice. All right, guys, that is it for this year's holiday review. Let me know your thoughts. Are you gonna pick up any of these? If you want to get really fancy and bougie, think about getting a candle topper. They're always fun and gorgeous and just adds a little bit glam to your decor. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts below. If you like this video, click the thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. Thank you.